Hey guys, welcome back to part two on my uh, gun wall video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to actually hang the guns up on the wall. So what I use um, to attach the guns to the walls are these little, uh, these plastic, uh, these little plastic hooks that I got off of Amazon. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to these exact pegs if you, if you like them. Um, so the, the big one I actually use to, uh, to hold the rifles. And being plastic, it kind of flexes a little bit uh, to, to hold the rifles and that little flex, it does kind of hold on to the rifle uh, stock pretty well. I haven't had any rifles fall out of, fall out of these hooks. Uh, and then the little ones I use for, uh, for bayonets and to hold slings and stuff like that on the wall. Thank so. you to everyone who voted in the last video in the comments. Um, so, but the, the German Mausers won the vote, not really surprised. So on this wall, I'm gonna put German Mausers. Uh, to those of you who voted Swedish, um, have no fear, uh, the Swedish Mausers will go here. So they, they are going to go up on the wall. I'm going to have pegboard on this whole wall, and you'll see it in the future where uh, I'll have a section just for my, for my Swedish, uh, Swedish rifles. So don't worry, that's in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hang these German Mausers up on the wall. Uh, pretty much the way you do it, you, you know, you have your hooks, and you would just kind of hold the rifle up, kind of figure out where you want it. I mean, there's not really a great or scientific way of doing this. Just Hold the rifles up, sort of, you can count down the holes from the top or the side, and then uh, put the hooks in. And it's a lot of trial and error, you know, you'll put hooks in and then need to move them around to make sure your barrels are, uh, are parallel with the ground. So um, this one's already easy, kind of already did this one. So uh, I will go do the rest for you. So there you go. That is the uh, the majority of my uh, my German rifles now up on the wall. Um, you've probably seen. I think I've made or used most of these guns and a lot of videos on the channel. So uh, I will go over them real quick for you, just if you want to know. Uh, Gewehr 88, uh, Gewehr 98, uh, K98AZ. Uh, this is a BYF 41 K98K. Uh, this is that really cool uh, Gewehr 98 to K98K conversion rifle. Uh, this is the uh, the G2940. Uh, this is the uh, G3340, and then below that is the uh, the Semi Kriegs model BYF 44. And I tried to put kind of each bayonet that goes. Um, with each rifle. Um, I really like the idea of uh, displaying all the bayonets with, uh, with the rifles. And, um, so we have a couple, couple butcher blades, we got the, uh, the, what do they call it, the quill bayonet. Um, got one of the uh, air socks uh, bayonets that fits the, uh, the G88. Um, this one kind of looks just like a standard World War II uh, bayonet, but this was actually uh, made in World War I. Uh, in 1917 from Belgian steel. I know there's a million options out there when it comes to pegboard, so if you have any ideas for me, go ahead and comment. Um, I actually do read every single comment that I get on any of my videos, so just comment uh, comment if you have any ideas uh, for, for the pegboard, anything you'd like to see me do in the future. Um, plan on having a, um, a the uh, automatic rifles of World War II sort of section here. Um, so I'm going to have like, uh, I'm thinking, you know, M1, M1 Garand, M1 Carbine, G43, SVT, uh, AG42 all on the wall here. And then I'm thinking right here, I'll put all my Swedish Mausers. So you guys will see that in the future. So stay tuned. If you like stuff like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I really appreciate every new subscription that I get and I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.